Welcome back to another video. You know what time it is. It's time for the top spring choices 2023. I got 15 choices here that I will absolutely be rocking the most in the next few months. Spring is right around the corner. Amazing woody, you know, aromatic fragrances for the spring 2023. 15 choices right now. Let's get it on. Welcome back to another video, Max here. If you love to make a great first impression, smelling good is a great way to do it. We're not gonna waste much time here. Let's hop right into the choices. I'm gonna kick the list here with the 15th choice, which is going to be a fragrance that's up and coming. Um, brand new release, 2023. I think it's perfect for, this, for the springtime and early fall. And it's of course, Carolina Herrera's Bad Boy. I could have gone with a lot of different fragrances from Carolina Herrera. I just think Bad Boy Extreme, which is the newest 2023 release, is perfect for the springtime because it's gonna be sweet, sassy, a little bit, you know, gourmandy, but not so much gourmand, but I think it's great for evening wear in the springtime because, you know, right here where I'm at, New England, New York, I think we still get, I don't think I know we get, cooler, chilly nights. So I think this has a lot of the ingredients that I absolutely love for the springtime. Plus, this fragrance reminds me of an old, but favorite of mine from Givenchy, which is not a CH fragrance, but it's very similar to this, which is Givenchy's Very Irresistible for Man, which has this sesame seed, nutty, almost gourmandy, coffee-like feel, which I get with this fragrance as well. And by the way, Bad Boy Extreme is my favorite from the Bad Boy line. I don't think I featured a top video with a CH fragrance from the Bad Boy line yet in this channel, which has been you know here for over a decade. So this is saying a lot. I think Bad Boy Extreme is definitely the best one from the line, and the combination of cacao, patchouli, plum, vetiver will be great for evening wear in the springtime. At the 14th spot, another newcomer to the list this is a brand new fragrance, just like CH Bad Boy Extreme. I most likely, I don't know in the queue here if the review will be you know coming out before the top video here, but you will get a review on both of these fragrances. This is Givenchy Gentlemen's Society, brand new 2023 release at the 14th spot. This is a great woody, spicy fragrance with an aromatic heart. Now they're saying in the notes that they took away the iris. I think the iris is still present here. You're gonna get that makeup y feel that you get with all iris based scents. I love it. But the main player here is going to be the cedar and the vetiver. You know, it's got this herbal green heart to the fragrance. It starts off, you know, bright citrus with a blast of a, you know, floral kind of undertone and the woody base in this fragrance, absolutely heavenly with a little bit of a hint of a vanilla as well. Not overly sweet, just perfection for a great, elegant and very sophisticated scent to rock in the springtime. At the 14th spot, guys, check out Givenchy Gentlemen Society. I love this brand. I love this line. This is a great one, a great release, one of the best of the year so far. I told you I have something for everyone here, for every taste. Now this is one of those, when I'm feeling nostalgic, when I'm looking for something clean for those you know, warm spring days, this is going to be Irish Spring in the Bottle. If you know the soap, you know exactly what I'm talking about with the scent profile. This is from Alfred Song, this is Song Ohm. Don't be fooled by the purple bottle. It's not going to be a blue scent or anything crazy. It's very soapy and very green scent. Love this stuff. Very nostalgic to me. This was released in 1989, but it's still great today. It's a very clean, crisp, aromatic scent. You have vetiver here, you have lavender, you have some patchouli in here. It's gonna have a very, you know, not a very, but it's gonna have an old school vibe about it, kind of like a fougere, but it's a very clean and soapy, like I said, very similar to Irish Spring Soap. Very green scent, extremely aromatic, and I think it's perfection for the springtime for something that's affordable and yet great smelling. And again, a lot of these choices are gonna be very affordable. I'm gonna list them below to make your life easier. This is another one, I believe it was released in 2003, and it's definitely one of my favorites. This is going to be Bulgari Pour Homme Extreme. Um, this is going to be a green tea base scent, which also contains vetiver in the base, very aromatic, very easy to wear. I think the two words that would describe this fragrance best, this is going to be elegant and very comforting. That green tea vibe with the vetiver, some florals in the heart, a very inviting type of a scent, great for day wear during the springtime, absolute perfection. Bulgari Pour Homme Extreme. Don't snooze on this one, guys. I don't know if it's discontinued. Getting harder to find, but again, listed below to make your life easier. And if you haven't tried this one, you're gonna love it. If you have tried this back in the early 2000s, you know what I'm talking about. At the 11th spot, now this one here released last year, and it was one of my top favorite designer releases, mostly because it reminds me of another Givenchy fragrance that I love uh, that was discontinued and I think brought back, getting harder to find now, which is Givenchy Pour Homme. Uh, 2002 release, I'm gonna pop it on screen here. This is going to be Gucci Guilty Parfum Pour Homme. 
a very aromatic scent, which has lavender, vetiver, some fruity nuances up top. This is a very easy to wear fragrance. Definitely gonna pull pe people in. Definitely a compliment inducing type of a scent that you could definitely wear every time, anytime, all the time. This could be like a perfect signature scent if you're looking for one that I think encapsulates and captures the spring essence to perfection. Gucci Guilty Parfum, pour on from 2022. The best Gucci Guilty in my opinion, and one that if you're looking for a great signature scent for springtime, guys, look no further. This will do the job. Now, top 10, we're going down to the top 10 here real quickly. These are going to be the ones, the heavy hitters, in my rotations week after week, whether morning, nightwear, these are my favorite choices right here. Top 10, starting with the 10th choice for him, from Narciso Rodriguez, but the Blue Noir version. You can go with Eau de Parfum. This is the OG, this is the EDT, which I believe I like it more because it projects a little more. Now, this is a vetiver base scent, very woody, with an orangey citrus up top. It's gonna be bright, very effervescent, very, um, inspiring i think is the right word it's not per se a very blue scent in a sense of a quattiness or zonicness to the scent but it is a blue that's very bright very zonic sky-like vibe that's very refreshing and uplifting uplifting is the right word blue noir no Cesar rodriguez for him an absolutely stunning scent woody cedar that's a and patchouli are some of the notes in the base lots of uh, citrus and brightness up top just absolutely stunning juice right here at the 10th spot. Speaking of a Zonic, fruity, you know, uplifting, bright, inviting, at the ninth spot, we have one that I've been talking to you guys about ever since its inception and release in the market, including the other version of this fragrance. But this is my favorite for the warm season. This is going to be Brioni for men, uh, the blue bottle, not the Parfum, which is a dark bottle. This is an incredible scent because it combines two great fragrances. It reminds me a little bit of Fahrenheit Aqua, which is discontinued now, meets Bun number nine's Bleecker Street, which is a great, you know, blueberry kind of, kind of, kind of a scent. So you have this berry gin and tonic vibe here, along with wood, woods in the base, like a woody base that's comprised mainly of vetiver. Uh, there's violet leaf in here. This is great, guys. It's going to be a great one for the springtime if you're looking for a scent that's going to set you apart and give you that sophisticated elegance, you know, feel good vibe about yourself. Brioni for man, the OG will deliver. At the eighth spot, if I'm craving that blue vibe, that very universally appealing kind of a scent profile. This is my go-to and it has been for years now. This is my favorite from the line. Of course, we might see an elixir uh, version of this fragrance, an iteration of this fragrance, but right now the Parfum from Bleu de Chanel, the blue Parfum is my favorite because it is a blue scent which has a really nice creamy green undertones. With lavender, you know, cypress, sandalwood, there's the mint up top along with herbal nuances. My God, Blue de Chanel Parfum is the most sophisticated and elegant from the whole Blue collection. And it's definitely gonna make you smell amazing um, this springtime. And I think because of those extra elegant nuances and notes that this has, I think it becomes more grown up, uh, more sophisticated than the other, you know, blue scents, which I think are more youthful. This is definitely a little bit more mature, a little more uh, dressier, well put together from all the Blue de Chanel's. No questions about it, guys. Check Parfum from Blue de Chanel if you haven't. And of course, Chanel, if you're listening, I know Elixir is on its way, or is it? We shall see. At the seventh spot from a brand that I've said many times is a very underrated brand. The brand is Cartier and the fragrance going to be Declaration. This is going to be the Parfum Edition, which was released a few years ago. Now, Declaration Cartier Parfum Edition is absolutely a stunning juice. This is a fragrance that has this nuttiness to it. Um, I don't know what is the note combination, but I think there is going to be a roasted patchouli in the base that gives you off this really nice uh, nutty sesame seed kind of a vibe. You know, not gourmand-like, but very aromatic. You have, of course, a ton of citruses up top along with a leather heart, which makes this, again, very well put together, very sophisticated, very elegant, along with some woodiness of a cedar and vetiver combination. This is a stunning scent, one that will definitely get you smelling incredible. I love the woods in the base here. They come to fruition right in the next, you know, 10, 15 minutes of applying the fragrance. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's nothing in the market that smells quite good as this when you're looking for something that is like, old world goodness meets modern. This is like modern meets classic to the T. Declaration Cartier Parfum, guys. Don't snooze on this one. This is definitely gonna set you apart. Now at the sixth spot, we have a fragrance that is definitely a newcomer to the channel, a brand that's I think first time ever featured on the channel. 
and it's definitely you know the first time ever featured in my top or any of my top videos this is going to be from a brand from paris called frank olivier and this is going to be pure addiction love the bottle the thing about this fragrance ladies and gentlemen it's going to have a leathery kind of undertone it's very very inviting it's going to be right in the middle in the sense that a lady could pull this off however i'm going to tell you exactly what this fragrance reminds me of it's very similar to baccarat rouge 540 from mfk which that fragrance i think it leans a little more feminine this one however is going to be woodier it's going to be greener and it's going to be spicier so because of those three you know checks in this fragrance it does lean more masculine that leathery kind of suede heart that it has as well it is absolutely a stunner when you look at the link that i'm going to have it below here and the price that you can have this it is absolutely a steal for what you're going to get here performance is amazing i go as far as saying this is the closest you're going to get to a fragrance that's similar or inspired by baccarat rouge 540 with a more masculine uh, take on that fragrance. So guys, if you like what you hear, try this, come back here and thank me later. Speaking of thank me later, I'm gonna give you guys two reasons to thank me right now, besides the video, of course, but the codes I'm about to share with you. There are codes going on right now, of course, all the fragrances will be listed below, but you can try all 15 fragrances in this video and thousands to choose from, of course, on perfume.com, which is the best place to try fragrances before you buy them. You wanna get a decant, you wanna live with it, you wanna make sure you love it, but maybe it doesn't work with your skin or your body's you know, chemistry or your setting. So guys, try them before you buy them at perfume.com. Use cold spring. This video is a spring video, so just for you guys, cold spring will give you 50% off BOGO. Buy one, get one 50% off. Limited time, I think it ends on March, 12 so check out the details below guys don't snooze this is a great deal you can get a max pack as well you can mix and match all of these fragrances i'm talking about get a kit with a mix of fragrances the more you get the more you'll save again all details below enjoy perfume.com the best place to try before you buy it and of course when you're ready to commit to a bottle go to fragrancebuy.ca which is the best place to buy discounted fragrances whether it's niche designer or indie fragrancebuy.ca guys details below enjoy Last but not least, the top five fragrance choices from my spring rotation of 2023 are these five right here. Starting off with this one here from Tom Ford. Used to be a private blend, now it's in the uh, signature line of Tom Ford. This is Beau de Jour. This is an incredible fragrance, which is basically a fougere, quote unquote, you know, lavender scent or barbershop feel. But there's so much more to this fragrance. The vanilla that's added here, along with the patchouli. There are a lot of modern components that were added to this fragrance to brighten it up so it's not as musty or old school-like. It has an old world goodness and quality to the scent with the notes and the ingredients. It has this beautiful modern touch that was added to the fragrance, so it is very relevant to today's world, guys. You want to smell incredible. You want a fragrance that's really going to set you apart. And, you know, when you walk into a room, you're going to command attention. Tom Ford Beau de Jour is such fragrance for the springtime. At the fourth spot, this one here will fit the bill perfect when you're looking for something to really pick you up and refresh you when springtime is getting really warm, summer's right around the corner, I'm talking about late May or sometime in June, this will be a perfect scent for day wear, night wear. It has all and then some when it takes to a great citrus aromatic because it has vanilla, it has a little bit of a lavender, it has some heavier components that really makes the citrus aromatic a bomb of a fragrance that is very powerful. I'm talking about Bottega Veneta Illusione for him. You guys know how much I love this brand. Now this is again a citrus scent with power, with oomph. The citrus here are absolutely incredible, breathtaking, will lift you up at hello, but then you have some really nice woods, vetiver, cedar, a little hint of vanilla in there, which will really make this composition very unique and very impressive, very powerful, and very elegant for a citrus aromatic scent, guys. Bottega Veneta, Illusione for him. You know how much I love Bottega Veneta. It's one of those, like Cartier, like Isimiyaki, that are under the radar that you guys should definitely consider checking out. At the third spot, we have a fragrance here that is absolutely a masterpiece. I've been talking about this fragrance for a long, long time, for many years now. This is going to be Costume National Homme Eau de Parfum, not the Parfum, which is the latest iteration of this fragrance, but just the Eau de Parfum, the OG. Now, this fragrance, I'll be honest with you, the initial blast might turn some people away because it's going to be a combination of citruses with cloves and cinnamon, which is a little bit weird, but it has this coconut fig, like a spicy fig kind of a, you know, undertone, which to me is perfection for the springtime. There's no, there's no such fragrance in the market today that gives me the vibe that this gets. This is like a, a spicy fig, like I said. Think about a creamy, spicy coconut and fig with, you know, cinnamon, cloves, and some other spiciness like pepper. 
but it gets really creamy because it has Mysore sandalwood in the base. And of course, the nose here is Dominic Ropion, which is a master nose. As you see, I wear a lot of this fragrance. This is actually my second bottle of this fragrance for a guy that owns as many bottles as I have. This is saying a lot. This is a go-to for me in the springtime. It always has, and I highly suggest you at least try the can of this fragrance because it is niche quality for a designer fragrance. Absolutely true here, guys. Incredible stuff. At the second spot, this is a fragrance that really grew on me. This is from Hermes. And I'll be honest with you, the original version of this fragrance I didn't like. I thought it was very fleeting. I didn't really like the combination of notes. But the Eau de Parfum edition of this fragrance, H24, really took me uh, to the next level with my experience with this fragrance. I was like, man, this is what I'm talking about. They added the oak moss here, which made this greener, deeper, darker, definitely more mature, uh, definitely what I'm looking for. I think H24, the original, is going to be more youthful, more for like day wear, casual wear. This one here, potentially a signature scent for the springtime. You can wear dress up, dress down. This is a jack of all trades. This will get you smelling incredible. So much so that, guess what? I think this is gonna complement the attire perfect here. I'm gonna wear this as my signature scent. Love the stuff, it's a little bit spicy up top, a little bit floral, definitely lots of citruses, but the green and woody heart into the base here is absolutely incredible. I think the three elements that made me change my mind here is the Brazilian rosewood along with the lavender and the oak moss in the base. That's what really changed my mind with this fragrance for 2023, making, as you see here, my top two favorite fragrances for the spring. What could be number one? Now, number one, one word to summarize this fragrance that I'm about to share with you is Masterpiece. Over the last 15, 16 years, I think this has changed the world of perfumery. When this was released, a lot of people thought it had more of a feminine touch to the fragrance. Of course, we're talking about the note of iris here. By now, you know, a light, a light bulb should go off. You know I'm talking about a fragrance from Dior. It is going to be none other than a 2005 release, Dior Homme the Original. This is not going to be the original with the uh, with the metal stem here on, on, on the actual bottle. This is an older bottle, I believe, from 2012. If you get anything from Dior that is Dior Homme, but not the 2020 release, which completely changed the DNA of the fragrance being more of a woody cedar vetiver scent, get the one, well, any other one except for the 2020 release or a Dior Homme Original, I think they're calling it now. You're going to get the experience I'm talking about, which is beautiful, bright, iris if that makes sense because it has some beautiful citruses up top it has some creaminess with the iris and the patchouli in the middle a hint of a cocoa uh, vibe in there this fragrance is absolutely stunning it is elegant it is sophisticated it's going to get people pulled in people are going to ask you what are you wearing you smell amazing if you have tried this fragrance in the past you know exactly what i'm talking about if you've never tried your own this is an experience that you should definitely look to experience in 2023 guys an absolute masterpiece. I'm sure there's something here for you guys to check out and really enhance your fragrance wardrobe and smell incredible in the next few months. Let me know in the comments, there's a question of the video as I always do, what are your top three, five or 10 favorite spring fragrances that you love to wear you know, during the springtime? What are your favorite notes for springtime? I'd love to know. Uh, there's not much florals here per se. I go for mostly lavenders, woody, aromatic scents that has you know, some florals in there, but mostly citrus aromatic uh, with some woody spiciness in the base. Let me know your favorites in the comments. Love to read your comments. Maybe share some of your favorites and I'll find something new uh, that I'll experience myself and share with you guys here on the channel in the future. As always, thank you so much for your support. Leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you right back here very soon. And stay tuned for the top niche spring of 2023 coming very soon your way right here on the channel. See you soon, guys. Smell great, make a great impression, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.